my name is Tony Favaloro. Uh, I'm a PhD student at Purdue University in our Composites Manufacturing and Simulation Center. Uh, so my responsibilities are really uh, enabling some of our composites process simulation, specifically additive manufacturing and compression molding. Uh, one of our primary goals is composites education, not just the students, but also industry on what we can do still relatively simply and confidently. So we're working on simulation techniques for compression molding of composite materials, uh, predicting both their microstructure once they're made as well as their performance afterwards. So at the, at the end of our work, kind of the goal is to deliver packages that uh, someone in industry can be confident that when they uh, make this pretty complex composite structure that may have kind of a stochastic microstructure that they can predict the, the failure, uh, at least that first failure that's critical uh, correctly and with some confidence. More and more uh, we see that the major cost in using uh, some composite methods is actually the tooling and more importantly producing the tooling correct the first time. So you don't want to go out and spend a whole lot of money producing a steel tool that can cost several hundreds of thousands of dollars and it not be right that first time. So in our project, we're working on prototype additively manufactured tooling so that you can get it right in this quick, uh, inexpensive tool before you maybe go to a, a production tool. We use Katia and SolidWorks to do some of our design and that's just generally important in composites. So you start in Katia, build something and then check it in Abacus. And the real reason we use Abacus at our center is because of kind of the open platform with user subroutines where you can kind of customize everything to your, to your own needs. So that makes Abacus really powerful for our, our kind of research purposes. You know, we've, we've got a midpoint right now and we're working towards that end goal, but we can kind of see that light at the end of the tunnel of, of we can do these simulations and it's working. So it's pro very promising.